Hi everybody, welcome to Devotions today. We're coming to the end of the first week of Lent and the theme of this first week of Lent in our little booklet has been entering, how Jesus enters into different situations. And today I'd like to read uh, the lesson that's actually set for the, um, I think it's the fifth or sixth day, sixth day I think. Um, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. And so leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. And there were also other boats with, with them. And a furious storm came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. And the disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And the wind died down and it was completely calm. And he said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and they asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. A wonderful story of Jesus entering into a difficult situation. When they went across to the other side of the lake, Jesus says, let us go to the other side. When you become a Christian, you go to the other side. You've got to cross over to God's side. And the wonderful thing is that Jesus is in the boat with you. It says they took him with them. So into every situation you go, you can take Jesus with you. He is there. And while they were on the way to the other side, this fierce storm arose, a frightening storm for them. And uh, because some people think that if you become a Christian, everything's going to be peaceful and quiet and a better road. The experience of most Christians is that once you accept Christ and put your faith in him, live for him, you face all kinds of storms that come your way. It's not an easy road. It's a challenge. Um, for us. And so they went to Jesus, but he was fast asleep in the midst of all this terrifying storm. How could he sleep? Well, he knew that his life was in his father's hands. His father was in control. He didn't have to worry about anything. His faith was incredible in the love of his father. And so they woke him up, not in faith, but to moan at him, to criticize him. Don't you care? We see all the storms in the world today, and sometimes we ask the question, doesn't God care what's happening? Doesn't he care? Well, Jesus got up anyway, and uh, he said to the storm, peace, be quiet, be still, and a great calm came. Jesus took authority in that situation. He took over, and the wind died down, and the waves quietened. Now we know that that doesn't always happen immediately in life. Storms don't go away just like that. But the big thing is to hand them into the hand them into the hands and arms of the one who can take over and who can help us in times of great difficulty and storm. And Jesus turns to them and he says to them, Why were you afraid? My word, I would have been terrified. But he says, What well, why were you afraid? Where's your faith? And that's a challenge to us. There is no need. Time and again, Jesus said, don't be afraid. I'm with you. And so as we face the various storms that are in the world and maybe in our own personal circumstances at the moment, that's a good story to remember. Let Jesus enter in. Remember, he's the one who has authority. He will take over. And in due course, the peace and the calm will come. Don't be afraid. Have faith. Let us pray for each other. May God bless you. See you soon.